Hi, it's Hiri. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. This is my second video for how to use ponzu, and today I'll show you some delicious ponzu salads. Hope you find more ways to use ponzu with my recipes. If you haven't watched my first how to use ponzu video and ponzu Japanese fried chicken video, which have been two of the more popular videos in my channel, please check them out too. I'll leave the links to the videos in the description box. So today, I'm introducing three ponzu salads, and the first one is the easiest recipe. It's izakaya style ponzu cabbage salad. First, remove the core of the cabbage. Then cut the cabbage into one bite sizes. Put them in a large kitchen plastic bag. Add a ponzu, sesame oil, sugar, grated garlic, salt and black pepper. Mix them well to marinate the cabbage evenly. The white parts of the cabbage are harder than the green parts, so make sure to separate them into individual pieces and mix them well. Leave it for 30 minutes to marinate. Then it's done. Sprinkle sesame seeds on top when you serve. Garlic and sesame oil go great together, and the ponzu gives it a refreshing citrusy flavor. Also, the crunchy cabbage makes the salad snacky, and it goes great with beer. So a lot of izakaya restaurants in Japan serve this kind of cabbage salad as an appetizer. Next one is ponzu parmesan salad. It's more like a fusion Japanese salad, and I often make this as a side dish with pasta or other western dishes. First, cut some green veggies. This time, I'm using watercress, but you can use other leafy greens like sour kale or spinach. Put them in a bowl. Add olive oil, ponzu, salt, black pepper, and parmesan cheese. Mix them lightly. Please add those ingredients right before you serve, otherwise the salt gets soggy as time passes. Add more parmesan cheese on top when you serve. It looks like a western style salad, but there is a nice subtle aging flavor from the ponzu which will surprise your guests. Ponzu goes great with olive oil as well, and ponzu can be used for western dishes. Last one is ponzu meat salad. This is my American husband's favorite. Cut some celery very thinly and diagonally. To put them in a bowl. If you have it, chop some green onion to add a nice kick and a freshness to the salad. Next, roast some nuts over medium to low heat. I like using pine nuts for this recipe, but you can also use sliced almonds or other nuts. In the same pan, add a sesame oil and ground pork over medium heat. Add a salt, black pepper, and grated garlic there and mix them well while cooking the pork. You can use ground chicken too. Once the meat gets this nice crispy brown color, turn off the heat. Add the meat and nuts in the bowl with the veggies. Then add the ponzu and the sugar. Add sesame oil for more of the sesame flavor. Mix them well. Taste it first, and a little bit more salt and black pepper if you need. If you like it spicy, add some red pepper too. Then it's done. We 
face the meat. This salad can be your main dish, but thanks to the ponzu, it's not too heavy and very tasty. So I often have this as my late dinner when I'm alone at home. My husband usually doesn't really love eating celery, but he eats a lot of celery if I make this salad. But be careful, as time passes, the celery gets soggy and turns brown like this, so remember to dress them right before you serve. Mm. Oh, shit. I'll be posting more recipes for ponzu and other Japanese ingredients. So please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Mata ne!